Hey, what's up guys? Chris Altamirano here from VMAverick.com and today I want to share with you how to create an electronic whiteboard. Now, what exactly is an electronic whiteboard? Well, an electronic whiteboard is what you're seeing me use right now. And this can be used for uh, a, a few reasons, okay? You could use it for presentations. You know, say you're doing a video presentation and you just want to have something cool to jot down stuff so people can take notes and follow along with. You can also just do it for tutorials. You know, what if you want to show somebody how to do something? This is a cool, unique way to do it. You can also just use it uh, during uh, uh, video chats. We'll just put vid chats. Um, you know, say you want to share your screen uh, on Skype or uh, what is it, Uvu or uh, Google Hangout. This is a really cool way to just show what you're doing. And before we even get into uh, anything else, I just want to show you a couple of other things that you need. Okay, right now uh, I'm actually doing this in Photoshop. I'm going to zoom out for you guys. And all this is is just is just a little template, right? So you're going to need Photoshop to create your little template, little PSD, or I don't know, what, uh, yeah, PSD. The other one uh, you can use if you don't want to have uh, Photoshop. Photoshop is actually a paid thing. The other one is GIMP, and this is free. And then you're going to need uh, either ScreenFlow to record and capture your videos, or Camtasia. Now I haven't personally used Camtasia myself, but I do know that Camtasia, Camtasia is for uh, both PC and Mac. So that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need Photoshop to create your little template, uh, GIMP, uh, same thing, create your template, or, and ScreenFlow or Camtasia to capture your little electronic whiteboard. And the dimensions you're gonna wanna use for this electronic whiteboard is 12, 80 by 720. Okay, and the reason you want to do this is because this translates into HD quality for YouTube. And as you know, videos on YouTube get a lot more uh, positive feedback, especially when they're in HD. I mean, HD is just the way to go. Uh, and and the and it's actually pretty fast to export. I mean, a video under about eight minutes takes me like seven or eight minutes to export to 720p. Uh, HD off of ScreenFlow and then up to YouTube. So I'm also just using, uh, if you're wondering how I'm writing, I'm just using the paintbrush here and I have it set to the flow to 100 and I have what's called a, um, I'm, I'm letting it do like pressure so you can see that like if I don't put a lot of pressure it goes really light but then if I press really hard so it has like real life actual a little you know push down to it and to kind of just fill that void of confusion, what am I writing with? This is the last thing you're going to need, okay? You're going to need a bamboo capture. Capture is the, the name of the actual tablet. Bamboo capture um, tablet. Yeah, tablet. And it's going to come with a, it's going to come with a tablet, a USB cord, and a pen. It's like a digital pen. And that's pretty much all you need, guys. Once you have this, all you do is you just create your little template like I have here. And then you're going to set your dimensions to 1280 by 720. Again, in Photoshop or GIMP, 1280 by 720, height, height uh, and width. And then all you do after that is you basically just um, uh, record it with either ScreenFlow or Camtasia. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you want, uh, I'm, I actually have some links right down below this video. Um, some of them are affiliate, affiliate links, so if you do buy from them, uh, I do make a commission, and I appreciate that. If not, no hard feelings. Um, but all in all, I hope you get some value out of this video. Uh, and at the end of the day, I'm always here to help. Okay, my name is Chris Alcerano again, and I'm the uh, founder over here at viamaverick.com, Internet Strategies That Work. Be sure to go, and, go ahead and head to the website, sign up to the email newsletter, and uh, if you have some time, follow me on Twitter at Chris Alta. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.